Hello and welcome to today's video. We're going to do a review of the NVIDIA broadcast software. I've been using this with my microphone and camera for quite a while now and I think it's pretty good. Uh, we'll go over a review with what I use it for and what else you can do with it. So uh, sit back and get ready. So I actually use, as you can see right here, uh, my Yeti X is my microphone source. So. One thing I noticed with the Yeti X when I got it is that uh, it picks up a lot of background noise like keyboard clicks or uh, mouse clicks as well. So like if I'm typing, it picks it up really bad or if I'm clicking. So when I'm playing Call of Duty, uh, my viewers get hit a lot with the noises that is unwanted. Uh, I tried, tried downloading the Blue Sherpa software, which is meant to be used with this microphone and I tried playing around in my window settings but I wasn't able to get the background noise removed which is how I stumbled across NVIDIA broadcast in the first place uh, so as long as you have an NVIDIA RTX card you can use NVIDIA broadcast and I'll put a link down in the description on where you can download it and then what I did is add an effect here put on noise removal here and put the strength all the way. So what this does is now you can no longer hear my keyboard clicking and my mouse. And for me, I found this a lot easier than playing with a bunch of sliders, like in the blue Sherpa software, where I could just hit a button for noise removal, turn it on, and that eliminated all my keyboard and mouse clicks. And there's other effects you can add as well on top of this. You can um, room echo removal, or the noise removal is what you've got for microphones here. Or you can just remove this effect. Now over here on the speakers tab, and yeah, remember to select first of all which microphone you're actually using. So for here you would use the Yeti X. And then what I do is in OBS or Discord for example, I set my microphone as NVIDIA broadcast. So then the microphone will filter through this software where it does the noise removal and then when you select NVIDIA Broadcast as your source for your microphone it will add these effects onto it. Now we've also got the speaker tab here so you just select which are your main speakers and then effects you can add noise removal and room echo removal as well and you can play different samples here to how it improves the audio so such as with air conditioning or typing but personally I don't use this one here so we can just remove that and leave it like this but the options are there and now this camera feature here oh hello Elon Musk there's my friend Elon Musk he's making a surprise drop by today while I was making this video so he's just chilling over there relaxing you know watching me seeing how it's going um, thanks for coming, Elon. I appreciate you being here. So back to the camera effects here, where we select our camera source. I have my Razer camera here. I've got my Logitech Stream Cam, which is the one I'm using right now. So we will use Logitech Stream Cam. Uh, I want it to be specifically on 1920 by 1080 at 60 FPS. And whatever resolution you choose here, you're going to want to be the same as how you set your camera in OBS. And it'll be the same thing as with the microphone. So you would set your camera up in here how you want it. And then in OBS or Discord, you would use NVIDIA Broadcast as your video source instead of your Logitech Stream Cam. And then, so the effects we have here with the camera, you can do background replacement and replace the background behind you. And you don't need a green screen for this. Uh, the software is pretty good at detecting what's you and what's not. Let's uh, change some of these. So we have the background removal, completely gets rid of all of your background. We've got auto frame. So what this does is as you move around, the camera is gonna follow you to keep you in frame. We've got video noise removal, which just gets rid of a lot of background noise. Um, background blur, where it keeps you in focus, but blurs everything else in the background. And you can set the strength of it here for how much of a blur you want. 
you can remove this effect you can add multiple effects so we can do our background removal and we want it to do quality over performance and we can also have our auto frame there at the same time so no background and we're also getting our auto frame so um, and again you can keep adding effects but the more you have it may impact your performance so let's remove this one background removal we'll put back on background replacement oh there's Elon again welcome back my friend and when you have background replacement on all you have to do is go here select your picture and then that will be your background so yeah Nvidia broadcast it's a pretty useful tool for uh, doing camera effects as well as microphone effects and it's very simple to use you just turn the effect on or off and the rest is that easy like I said you just can't forget to set Nvidia broadcast as your camera and your microphone device in whatever application you're using and then whatever effects you have here will be passed through so I hope you enjoyed this video and good luck with your streaming and your microphone settings and your camera settings and if you have any uh, recommendations on other software you would like me to look at and give tutorials on let me know and thank you for stopping by i appreciate you bye